WatchOS 10 is just under two months away and it's gonna be bigger and better than ever. As this is the first time for a long while that Apple will actually fully redesign its entire UI and will allow this Apple Watch to be even more powerful and more useful for daily use than ever before. So we're gonna go ahead and go through all the amazing features and some things we should be expecting during the release as well as talk more about the compatibility list, what devices will be compatible and more in today's video. So my name is Eddie, welcome to Hotshot Tech, let's begin. So obviously WatchOS 10 is said to be officially released during the time in the, sometime in the fall, around September is typically the time when the release date is for the next generation of OS's for iOS and WatchOS 10. However, for everybody else, the public beta will become available sometime during July. But right after WWDC, starting on Ju June 5th, after WWDC, developers will soon have access to the developer beta. Yours truly is a part of the developer team, so I'm definitely gonna start making content revolving around that. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss all the in-depth feature coverage of the brand new WatchOS 10. Now, multiple insiders and inside sources and stuff have been reporting that the next generation of WatchOS 10 will be compatible on every new generation Apple Watch all the way until the Series 4. So if you have a Series 4 or newer Apple Watch, you're good. If you have an older device, well, my, it's probably time to upgrade. Now, one of the most exciting things about WatchOS 10 is the total overhaul of the new user interface. The new design actually will feature something similar and people are calling this cards. It's very similar to like the end page that we have on our iPhone where we have our little app library all categorized in their own folders. So we'll have everything like utilities, productivity apps, games and etc all categorized easy to find while it still is left unclear if this will be like the new app default page like the app view or like the grid view that we have currently available this may be the third edition so we have those two previous ones and the new one or this might be the default look whenever you launch your apps it still is left unknown but one thing for sure a new thing for watchOS 10 is the integration of widgets which will include live actions as well very similar to like what the current iPhone 14 pros have the with the dynamic island that will give us like live status of sort of certain things like your Lyft, Uber Eats, DoorDash, or watch your favorite sport game score live on your device. It's said to have some type of live action capability on the Apple Watch, so you'll be soon to be able to monitor all that on your wrist right here, making it super convenient. Something tells me it's gonna utilize the always on display hardware that some always on display Apple Watches have, so it can always like show you the live stats of whatever you're waiting on. So that will be definitely a cool integration that's coming out soon for WatchOS 10. It still is left unknown how non always on display devices will actually react to this new feature. Another exciting thing about this new update is a new modes that will be added and integrated possibly on the control center. So one example was I've read a few articles talking about this is a rest mode. If you're really active, like I am like super competitive with your friends in terms of being active together for those activity rewards, achievements, it's said to have some type of rest mode that you will enable so it doesn't like bombard you saying that you're slacking from your exercises, you're no longer on your seven day spree, where it will actually disable all that in case you're injured, sick, or you're traveling. So a new rest mode for the activity side looks like it should be coming out soon. This is somewhat similar to like the focus modes as well. So having this capability in case you're injured or something like that, you're just unable to work out, does make sense to be integrated soon. So hopefully we'll be seeing this in the control center so it's an easy enable or disabled. Another thing I would like to actually see and hopefully does come available is more settings you can actually adjust for a low power mode because the reason I made like a video dedicating like clever ways to make your Apple Watch Ultra go even more than 60 hours under a single charge you can go ahead and watch that video right over there but it will be awesome if they could actually integrate this all on that same list instead of you having, having to manually go in through the settings and disable a bunch of random stuff. WatchOS 10 is also said to feature keychain password. This integration is said to make its way to WatchOS 10, making it easier to view your passwords and all that stuff right off your wrist. 
However, I do hope that Apple actually do do something that will allow this to be more secure because having this ease of use to have access to your passwords without like face ID verification or anything like that does somewhat concerns me, but hopefully Apple engineer figures out a clever way to make this harder to actually have access to. It's like grabs your Apple watch and just starts looking through your password list. Uh, I'm just saying this key chain feature is said to be coming to watchOS 10. I'm just hoping it's really secure. Now, many users have been requesting for new features to come out for watchOS 10, and it's rumored that it might deliver some of these. Some of the most requested feature is a app store before your watch face, which will allow companies like Adidas or other licensed companies that's with the Apple watch, like the Nike watch faces to have their own like custom watch face store where consumers like you and I can easily have access to many different customization watch faces made from the manufacturer or even the community very similar to like the app store it would be really awesome if Apple could actually integrate a community driven app face store like the app store that we can just download and such because I know many of you have been requesting me to share some wa my watch faces but it's really hard to do that unless I have your contact information but a dedicated like app store for this situation where you can actually share watch faces i'm sure that would be extremely appreciated now this it's a request i personally want to see is a built-in speedometer now that e-bikes are like taking over the world making it super convenient to travel it'll be really nice if you can actually ride your bike and actually visually see your your speed using gps that app watches have so you actually see how quick you're going on your wrist without you having to have some type of speedometer mount on your bicycle. Another request feature would be screen recording. Uh, the Apple Watch has 32 gigabytes of internal storage. Most modern day Apple Watches are 16 or 32 and that's a lot of storage and even with 32 gigabytes I have a hard time filling this thing up. So having some type of integrated screen recording I'm sure it will be kind of useful. Another request would be to unlock the body temperature sensor for other usage. Uh, yeah, uh, the Apple Watch Series 8 has a body temperature sensor, but it's only used for menstrual cycles. Unfortunately, it's not used for anything else. Not even third parties have access to this. So hopefully for watchOS 10, the body temperature sensor is now fully unlocked. Oh yeah, and also the Apple Watch Ultra also has this as well. But one request I really do want to see personally is the keyboard. Unlock the keyboard on all Apple Watches. There's been third parties apps out there available in the market that actually allow you to have a full keyboard on no matter what Apple Watch you're using. And based off those third party apps, it's proven that there's plenty of screen real estate left and available for your Apple Watch. So Apple, make the keyboard open for all Apple Watches. Overall, watchOS 10 promises to bring in some exciting features to the Apple Watch, including a new user interface, a widget screen, and control center. While some features are still left in the air, we're excited to see what watchOS 10 has in store for us. So make sure you are subscribed and you like this video so you don't miss any more future updates. Anyways, my name was Eddie. Hope you enjoy. If you'd like to watch some amazing apps to download on your Apple Watch, some powerful third-party apps, I highly recommend checking out this video over here where I cover my favorite apps of the year. And I'm sure you'll find some very useful ones in that video. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.